Smart India Hackathon, a unique platform. Now, we'll move on to the simple web page created for our team, Access Denied, which contains the details of the team members. We have our team leader, Silesh, and the rest of the team members are Sarveshram, Sudarshan Vijay, Surya Rajiv Kumar, Ajay, and Indra. We are the team, Access Denied, and we are here to present you on Graphical Password Authentication. To view our prototype, we have to click here and this leads us directly to the prototype page. As you can see, this is our sample prototype page the GPA is all about. In this sign up page, you can give any username that you wish to enter and then the respective email ID goes in the next column. After that, you enter your mobile number in the next column. The password. The password is basically graphical symbols rather than text or numbers. These symbols here get swapped, shuffled or to simply say the symbols change whenever we click refresh or reload the page. This ensures better security and prevents shoulder surfing at its best. In this sign up page we have to give a combination to proceed for further process. But a minimum of 4 combinations is required to sign up successfully. A combination of 4 symbols is a good password and a combination of 8 symbols is a strong password. And then click sign up. After that your account will be created successfully. And then you enter into the login page. In that login page you give your email id and then the respective number of particular combinations are given to proceed for further process. To make GPA more user friendly, we provide various themes based on the user's choice such as chocolates, Tamil letters, phrases and emojis. The default GPA provides higher security and then the chocolate based theme is best suited for the kids and the language letter theme is for the people who find the English letters difficult and then the faces theme is simply for the family members and finally the emoji theme is a modern one which is meant for the young generation and finally a customized GPA that contains a mix of all themes which follows the same algorithm same as all of them before if we, the disadvantages include if we ever forget a password a secret question will be asked for security alert and any security measure can be cracked at any point but in our project every time if any anonymous user tries to log in the admin will get notified on it as to who tried to log in at what time and the name of the device the admin will get an alert message with that message, he will log in to his device and then remove all the online devices that seem suspicious and reset his password to prevent such acts. The benefits of graphical password authentication are as follows. On assembling the graphical symbols in a specific pattern, it unlocks the authentication and proceeds for further process. It also resists cookies as visual icons cannot be stored by the cookies. It even helps illiterates as now in today's world, old or illiterates tell their passwords to other people for opening their accounts. But here they can handle their own passwords. 
If you're curious as to how the database works, it's basically created using MySQL language. So this is a database SIH. We have stored the data in table GPA in MySQL. We connect the database to a pro prototype using MySQL connector in Python. So what happens is that from the sign up page, the data are stored into the backend. And while we are trying to log in, these data are fetched back to compare the data and to allow the users to log in into the page and access the resources present in the device so over here if you look closely you can see that the username is stored as random as my friend has done earlier and the email also is getting stored the images key, uh, the images are stored as key values over here and as you can see the key value over here is 1001 so the key value of images gets stored in such a format. These are protected using uh, randomization and hashing algorithms such as MD5s and SHA-256 etc.